Hey folks, um, want to squeeze off another video real quick. It's 7.41 a.m. Saturday, November 28th. Wow, boy, I'm losing it. Herky was here a minute ago. He's gone now. Um, <laughs> I found out a long time ago that it really helps sometimes just to laugh at yourself. Um, I want to talk about a few things relative to each other, a couple things actually. This funny thing about religions, they try to own stuff, like the Catholic Church. We dubbed the Saint! Saint Francis that could talk to the animals, that was the number two focal point of our. And, uh, he had this wonderful, beautiful ability that has nothing to do with a damn church has nothing to do with a philosophy, it had to do with his heart, who he was. The fact that he was actually animal energy inside and very strong. And animals are so evolved over humans that they could actually feel him and understand him. Um, it's crazy. So anyway, so then they take something else that really pisses me off and try to make it about them. It's like, take all, make all the lies you can. Genesis, biggest lie you've ever heard. Okay? Take all these things and just pull them into yourself, then spit it out with your own spin on it and make it about you. Christmas. This is the Starbucks Christmas mug. Do, 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 do. God, I was just reading Christmas Blend and the word Christmas, it says that that's what it says inside. Christmas Blend, just the word Christmas kills me. Um, JC, the one you call, you know, Jesus, whatever, um, he was um, not born on Christmas. <coughs> the deal with Christmas being about that time has to do with the real situation that was going on. It should, it should be uh, Claus Day. There's, um, I guess it's like K-L-A-U-S-S-E or something. Um, uh, something like that. The original people. Uh, the original, the, the two souls that were in the male and female uh, Santa Claus, you know, bodies... That it was actually a family somewhere like north of Norwegian, of uh, no, no, Norwegian, north of that Norway. Um, uh, it's cold up there, and there was a man and a woman, and they couldn't have kids; they just couldn't. Um, so they uh, they went to, and they're in a body now. As a matter of fact, they have a metaphysical shop. That's the neatest thing in the world. Um, with respect to them, I won't mention it, but I have mentioned the shop many times, and I go there. Uh, I love them, and uh, they have a wonderful energy out there. Um, they had enough money to take care of themselves, but uh, the Mr. Claus really enjoyed just getting wood for something to do. You know, get wood and... Uh, start making, uh, you know, whittling with it and making little toys and stuff. And then uh, every once in a while, some kids, they lived off the way from the town a little bit, but especially in the summer, the kids would come by and see them. Some of the kids would come over there and they loved it. The kids come over, they do what they could to give them some, something to eat, you know, have a good time because uh, they wanted to enjoy the children. You know, they couldn't have any, so they appreciated children more. Lo and behold, um... I, I'm thinking about saying something I will later. Um, so anyway, uh, lo and behold, that got to be a little bigger and bigger. Well, to try to help out some of the kids who were kind of hurting, um, Mr. Claus literally would take the wood that was available from the forest and cut, a, cut little dolls and make little dolls that would move and stuff and do what he could to make little gifts for the kids when they come by. He'd make them in any way because he liked to and he'd set them out in his house and the kids would see him and he'd give them to them. You know, and paint them and stuff like that sometimes too. 
Um, so they had a knack of, of doing stuff like that. And Mom, she was a good sewer. Mrs. Claus was a good sewer. Uh, she'd make little stuff, hats, scarves, stuff like that. And uh, so that kind of became a habit of them being nice. And they did enough of that to where the nearby, the nearest town, the people started to understand these kids are coming home with these, you know, presents. And they thought it was pretty damn nice, most of them. Of course, you know, just a couple of people got to freak out. You're trying to screw up my kid by being nice. It's like, okay, I wonder what you do, you know. Anyway, um, that being said, uh, all of a sudden the town kind of caught on. They said, look at these people. They're away from everyone. They enjoy kids. They do what they can. And then some of the adults started going out there to see what's going on. You know, hey, loving parents, see what's going on with the kids, but also to meet them. And then they found out these people were nice. It's not that no one knew they existed, but they got to know them a little better. Said so they were nice. They didn't. These people didn't get hoarded with traffic, but they did start having more people come over, which was kind of nice, especially on a cold night. Have the fire inside, have some warm tea or something. So anyway, uh, the next thing you know, some of the people in that neighboring town, they start doing the same thing. No joke. They started doing what they could to help other people. Sometimes uh, bringing people food to families that were starving, they started taking better care of each other. Compassion. Very strong stuff. Anyway, that's how it started. There was a Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And uh, that's the true story of the Claus, of Claus Day, not Christmas. It had nothing to do with the one you called JC, besides his spirit's dead now. Um, it was arrogant, abusive, wanted to be praised, and it's dead. Christianity soon will be dead. Uh, the Jewish religion, uh, the Islam, all those religions are just going to die off, okay? There'll always be a little flicker here and there, but so many people are going to wake up to, them, to themselves to find their own truth of who they are, and then they're going to see what's really around, then they're going to know all these religions are full of crap. So anyway, I wanted you to know the truth of Claus. Is there a magical Santa Claus flying around? No. Sorry. Is there that love that the original Mr. and Mrs. Claus had just north of Norway, northeast of Norway? Yes. That love is in most all of us. Okay? That's the truth. That's the holiday they should have. It should be Claus Day, Compassion Day. Not this Christmas, like Immaculate Birth. What a joke. Claus Day ought to be about the love that a man and a woman had for other children because they could appreciate children more than other people because they couldn't have any. And because they had the love to help out all they could. Sometimes it was just making a crutch to custom fit to the kid so he could walk. And then you have your, one of your, all your religions are worthless. But then one of the biggest, most worthless ones is Christianity. Christianity, Islam, and, uh, or whatever, um, the Jewish, the um, Islamic, and the um, Christian religions are the worst. They're disgusting. Um, sick. But what's not sick is love and compassion. And that's what Claus Day is about. There's no such thing as Christmas. 
the one you call Christ wasn't even his name, isn't even part of it. He started out Islamic anyway. <laughs> Man, these religions are so screwed up. But you know what? It's time y'all weren't screwed with that stuff anymore. And it's time for y'all to wake up and find out who you really are inside. Because you're so much more and so much cooler than you can realize. I love y'all. Happy Claus Day.